Welcome to EC Masters Training Part 13. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our fuel correction tables in our EMU Black software. So these are going to be things like our intake air temp correction, or our barrow correction, or our differential fuel pressure correction, even fuel temperature correction. We're going to have a whole bunch of things to cover, so let's jump into this video so we can check everything out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at our fuel correction modifier tables we're going to be working with in our EMU Black software. These tables are going to help us further refine the fuel delivery into our engine so it's going to be more consistent and more repeatable as our air density changes. There's going to be a whole bunch of things we'll talk about here and again a bunch of modifier tables that we have to work with. Now before we jump into this training tutorial I want to make sure that you have the correct page layout open so you can follow along with what I'm going to be showing in this video. If we jump in here to desktops, go into open desktop template, we're going to move from our main setup that we've looked at in the last few videos into our main tuning. This is going to be a different page layout and it's going to be specific to taking a look at our fuel correction modifier tables. So select this option here and you'll open it up and you'll be able to follow along with what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So let's move from our setup here and jump into our fuel page. This page is going to be showing us our main VE table and also our target air fuel table or the target lambda table. So we know in the last video uh, we covered the fuel mass is equal to air mass divided by target air fuel. We know that the values within our table here are going to be essentially telling the EMU black how much cylinder filling is going on. We're going to be defining the volume or how much we actually can fill by our displacement amount here and then within the table here this is going to be defining how much of that volume we're actually filling. So values within the table are typically between 0 to 100 percent VE when we're talking about a naturally aspirated engine. If we're talking about force induction they can get as high as 160. So we'll find depending on how we've calibrated this table here we should find that we're hitting the approximate target air fuel that we're requesting here and everything is going to be functioning properly. Now we're going to get into a situation where if we start to change our, our elevation we're going to find the barrel pressure is going to change and therefore the density of the air entering our engine is going to change. And what we're going to find is that the values that we've represented here in our main VE table aren't going to be exactly accurate. We're going to find as we start to really jump in our barometric pressure change or start to get a higher and higher in elevation, we'll find that the table globally is going to be off and we need to have a way we need to correct for that. Likewise, if we find that as our air temperature starts to change, let's say we tune the engine on a cold day and we start to get to really warm, hot temperatures. Let's say we tuned it in the winter and now we're going to be operating a race car in the summertime. There's going to be a pretty large difference in the amount of air density or the air temperature that we're talking about. It could be as much as uh, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. In that situation, we can find that there's going to be a pretty large difference of air mass that when the previous table was tuned, we have represented the air mass coming into the engine to what it's actually operating at right now. We're going to find that the air fuel is probably going to be rich because when we were tuning everything here, we were accounting for more air mass or telling the EMU black that there was more air mass entering the engine. In this case, if we've now operated the vehicle in a hot temperature, we're going to find that that is not the case. There's actually going to be less dent less uh, uh, air mass entering the engine because the density is going to be changing. So these modifier compensation tables will be reducing or adding injector pulse width above and beyond what we calculate here from our main VE table. So the main VE table is going to represent our base injector pulse width and then we'll find that we have these corrections applied on top of that. So what we'll do is jump here into our fuel correction table and this is going to be where we have all of our modifier tables we're going to be working with in this video. So let's talk about what we find on the screen here real quick and then we'll start to jump into working with these actual tables. We're going to find we have on the left hand side all of our real time information that we can take a look at. So our basic tab here and all of our fuel. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.